I told you those are never fun in my line of work. I've spent years warning about worst case scenarios if the modern Republican Party got its hands on the Supreme Court. And I was really hoping I was doing it in a preventative way more than a predictive one. But it turns out that I was too optimistic. And now we're seeing all the shit that I've been warning you about this whole time. And keep in mind that you're not just seeing it in courts. The courts haven't quite overturned Roe yet, but even the knowledge that they're so inclined has empowered the hell out of the far-right Christian zealot lawmakers who have declared eminent domain on all the nation's uteruses. Even before this, we saw deep red states passing these aspirational, in case this is ever legal, kind of laws. But it's getting even more brazen every day. Take, for example, GOP State Representative Mary Elizabeth Coleman from Missouri. Her state already enacted one of the nation's strictest abortion laws back in 2019, which has forced thousands of women to travel all the hell way to neighboring states like Illinois to obtain constitutionally protected medical procedures. Well, she wants to put a stop to that, too. And she's using the extra legal spy on your neighbor enforcement method to do it. She's crafted a new provision that would allow Missouri citizens to sue a resident if they traveled out of state to obtain an abortion. So legally traveling to legally do a legal thing could get you sued. Now, this isn't a law yet, but she's attached the provision to several anti-abortion bills that have already made their way through the committee. And even if they don't pass, just the threat of these laws can have a chilling effect on both women seeking abortions and abortion providers. That's why they kept crafting these laws even back when the SCOTUS was still taking constitutionality more or less seriously. And of course, the pitchforks and torches enforcement method is designed to get around the most obvious problem of how the fuck anybody could keep track of this without installing people at the state line to check your fucking papers. But somehow, Mary Elizabeth Coleman didn't earn the title of my least favorite Midwestern Republican state legislator this week. That one goes to Republican candidate for the Michigan House, Robert Reagan. Now, to be fair, the point he was trying to make wasn't a bad one. He was on a live stream with a group of nut jobs buying into Trump's lies about the 2020 election being stolen, and he's trying to dismiss their calls to action. And that's the kind of point you think would be easy to make without alluding to your daughters getting raped let alone soft-pedaling an endorsement of it. But that's why you're overqualified to be a GOP candidate for Michigan State House. After explaining that it would be too late to act on their grievances, even if they were true, he explained, quote, I tell my daughters, well, if rape is inevitable, you should just lie back and enjoy it, end quote. So, yeah. Kudos, by the way, to the only woman on the panel, a Republican strategist, that called him out on what a terrible analogy it was and what terrible advice it was. But luckily, Reagan's daughter doesn't strike me as the type to take anything lying down. She responded to the controversy by tweeting out, quote, If you're in Michigan and 18 plus, please, for the love of God, do not vote for my dad for state rep. Tell everyone. End quote. So at least his inability to give sound advice isn't genetic. Anyway, after quoting that asshole, I needed some mouthwash. So I'll wrap things up there and I'll hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.